On the agenda tonight, we're going to be addressing the elephant in the room with regard to guitar playing videos across all social media sites. Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So this is a kind of video that I don't normally make, but I think it's something that I need to draw people's attention to because there's a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of fake playing going on across all social media and I'm just picking out one example of thousands that I see uh, you know, on a regular basis, either it being you know, through Instagram. I don't actually spend a lot of time on Instagram, but pretty much every video that I see of somebody playing the guitar is what I'm going to be featuring tonight. YouTube, same thing happening. And I know that in every single video I ask for requests for future videos of you know singers or guitarists, bands, artists, and I do get requests for particular guitarists here on YouTube, but they do what I'm about to point out. So it's why they haven't been analyzed. And some of these players do have hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube. And on Instagram, they might have hundreds of thousands of followers, but I'm just going to bring this up because I think it's quite an important point. So this video has been taken from my phone, which means there's no bottom end to it, it's going to sound very tinny, but we'll be able to hear what we need to. So let's have a look and I will be jumping into this. So, straight away, as a guitar teacher of over 15 years, almost 20 years now, you can see that she's not playing this as quickly as that, because the first line that we had there was... <laughs> Kind of like that. And when you look at her hand, she's playing. She's doing a slow bend. Up, you know, <laughs> a tone rather than a semitone. So straight away, and a lot of guitar players and probably teachers can spot this really quickly. And, and this is why it's annoying because every single video that I see is this, that it's somebody not playing their guitar. They're pretending to play to something that they've recorded previously and, you know, cut up and basically done a comp take is what it's called, which means you might record the solo, you know, 20 or 30 times and you take the best bit of all of those takes and then you get the final product, which wasn't you playing the whole solo, it was you maybe, you know, playing a few notes and going, you know, and maybe doing three notes with alternate picking and then going on to the next bit and going, and then sticking that together. So that eventually, if you imagine all of those notes stuck together, you can then have something that sounds really fast, but the person didn't play it. They're literally cutting it and moving it so that it sounds like it has been played. And then when it comes to pretending to play it, because they haven't played it, they can't pretend accurately. And that's the problem, especially when you're talking about more technical pieces, because timing, synchronization between left hand and right hand is key. And if you don't have that, it's really going to stand out. But the point of this video is that I don't think people realize because of the way that this is set up. And this is the problem that I have with it. They're setting up as if they're doing it live, as if they are playing. And they're even kind of looking at the camera while they're playing, going, you know, and doing all that kind of stuff to try and sell that they are playing. I've even seen a video where in the background on the monitor, they have Logic Pro running, Logic Pro 10, probably the most up to date version. And you can see that it's recording. But we're not hearing what it's recording. We're hearing the track that's been put together and then dubbed over the top. So, I mean, I would love to hear the actual track it was recording, but unfortunately we don't get to hear it. But the point of having that in the background is to try and sell that it is being played live. And with the dishonesty side of it, that's the problem I have. I don't have a problem with music videos or cover videos where you have to do different angles and you've got to play the solo multiple times for each of those angles, especially if you've only got one camera. So I don't have a problem with that, but 
I do have a problem with people setting up as if, oh, let me just get my guitar, put on the track, and let's just play the solo, and I'm actually playing it when they're not. And it seems like it's all about likes. I don't know what the end game is, or the end goal is for this kind of approach to putting this on your social media, because you are going to get found out. Eventually, you will have to play live at some point, and somebody's going to be watching you, and they'll see that you can't play what you've been playing. So it almost seems like now, especially the younger generation, a lot of these players are young, and I'm saying, you know, early 20s, around that kind of age, maybe mid 20s as well. But I mean, even actually younger than that, <laughs> teenagers, and it's becoming this trend that everyone realizes they can get away with it. So they're doing it. And anyway, back to my point, what is the end goal? It seems like getting likes, getting followers is more important than anything, than integrity, <laughs> than honesty. As long as you can get however many thousands of followers, then that is it. Because obviously then, yeah, they could set up a Patreon, for example, and get people to support them on there with stuff that they aren't actually playing, but they're making money. So, you know, it's almost like more fool the people watching. And <laughs> when I say that they're not playing, they are playing. They're playing the audience. They're playing the people that might actually be supporting them and giving them their money <laughs> to, to allow them to do what they want to do, thinking that they're watching somebody actually doing it, but they're not. And I think it's my duty as a guitarist, guitar teacher, the way that we do videos on the channel, that I analyze everything, I tell you exactly what's going on. Even when we're looking at vocals and auto-tune, pitch correction, we jump into all of that. So I do feel it's my duty as an artist as well, just to say that, I was going to say some of the videos, most of the videos now that are uploaded to social media with this kind of setting, somebody just sitting down about to play a solo, they are fake, that they're not actually playing the solo. Even players who are probably good enough to play the solo quite well, playing it quite well isn't good enough for them. So they do their comp takes and then they pretend to play, but still in this setup of, of like me sitting down and playing a solo in this kind of setting, it's like me now overdubbing something and me not playing, which I know to people that watch the live streams and at the end we have, you know, this fill jam as you guys call it, but we have a jam at the end of the live streams where I play over a backing track that we just load up and it's random and we just see what happens. It's like me going away, recording a solo over the top of the backing track and then pretending to do it on the live stream. It sounds crazy, but that is effectively what people are doing. We'll jump back into this. It's not going to last very long because it's just a quick Instagram video. You see this kind of thing all the time on YouTube shorts as well. Uh, just people kind of pretending to play the solos, but let's get into it. <laughs> and there we had again. They're pretending to play stuff that's really technical. And you can tell that this girl can play, but just not at this level. She hasn't got the dexterity or the synchronization to be able to pull this off when you're looking at the right hand with the alternate picking. I'm not sure she's actually playing this or if somebody else has played it and she's now just pretending to do it because she doesn't have the vibrato technique in her left hand that we're hearing because we've kind of got this and it's quite a wide, there's quite a wobble in there. Like there we had, there was a little wobble of vibrato. And you can see how much my hand's moving to do that. And that's pretty much something that you'll see when there is a lot of vibrato, the hand is never going and staying still like, like hers is. And there's vibrato all through uh, this lead solo that she's not applying. <laughs> and right there, at the end of that line, I'll do it in slow motion because the note is still ringing out when she's moving up. So she's moved up away from the note, but it's still going. 
<laughs> like that. So we've got that. Um, and then she moves away from it, but we still magically <laughs> hear that one ringing out. And, I mean, all of this, you know, the rundown that we have... It's like all alternative picked, it's all really technical, and it's probably <laughs> the one thing you shouldn't be attempting to pretend to play, because it's too precise. But we'll let it run on, and it doesn't have long to go. Ah, there we go, another great example there. So we had this... Listen out for that vibrato. And look at the finger. Actually, if we look at it in slow motion, you'll be able to hopefully hear the difference between kind of what we're seeing or <laughs> hear the difference between what we're seeing and what we're hearing. So. There we go. In slow motion, that is. So we almost had a semitones worth of vibrato there. And look how much my hand's moving in order to achieve that. So. You should get all of that movement, but her hand stays absolutely solid and doesn't move. Same thing there. Okay, right, so now, like I said, she can obviously play but not like this because she's she's got her um oh I think actually she's missing out that's the technique that she's pretending to play but even on the on the track that she's playing She's missing out a pick. I mean, on the dubbed, the actual one that's been stuck together, she's missed a pick. Yeah, just missed it there, but let's go back a bit. Yeah, she's going... Kind of like that, instead of... Like that, and catching that upstroke on the high E string. Which would get that kind of sound, I think. then stretch that kind of thing but again you have to be able to do that movement with your hand in order to you know accurately reflect <laughs> or pretend so we will jump back into it there's only a few seconds left but let's have a listen and actually just that little look towards the camera at the end, you know, as if you've nailed it. Of, of course you've nailed it, because it's not being played. <laughs> the track is never going to not play it correctly. Right, so anyway, yeah, we had an alternate pick run there. Actually, let's watch this again, because you want to be watching the right hand. So throughout that run, we've got alternate picking, and it is clear as day that every one of those notes is being picked because they are so clear. So when you do alternate picking, this right hand is going up. In the case of this run, up, down, up, down, up, down, and kind of ending there. So there's a lot of movement, but there's none of that going on with her right hand. She's playing it almost like she's doing polos. Kind of like that. There's none of the, you know, <laughs> whatever the run is. I haven't worked it out. But the important thing is that right hand movement, there's none of it. But you can tell, you can hear that that's the technique being used. Again, people watching this who don't play the guitar, might not be able to hear the difference between the pull-offs and actually picking it. But in order to get the clarity of those and that last note, you know, again, you know, there's a tricky little skip over there. So that G, so yeah, it's a, the G string. So yeah, it's a little bit awkward. But it's, it's definitely kind of being picked in there. Just in case you don't realise people aren't playing, 
there's a lot of this going on. And I think, as I'll say in the title, it is doing my head in a bit. Because as a guitarist myself, there are guitarists out there who are really good and they can do this. But I think because of the whole desire for likes and all that kind of thing in the younger generation, they're starting to use technology to a point where they're now be, well, being seen to do things that they can't actually do, but they're still you know, getting all of the recognition for that and accepting it and saying, oh, thank you. Oh, thanks for checking out my you know, solo. I'm really glad that you liked it and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, I mean going to the younger generation, and talking about music, you know, what, even 30 years ago, you know, you could go even back even further than that. But you couldn't do this back then because, especially working with tape, imagine playing three notes and now having to cut up that piece of tape and then get it to the next piece of tape that's got the next three notes on and glue it together so you don't hear the join. It was just impossible it would have taken so long and you'd hear the cuts between uh, unless you, you, know, you had the most amazing uh, engineer producer team uh, that could stick them together i mean that was half the point was when you did overdubs to kind of not hear where it had been applied anyway that's going back to you know using tape back in the day but you couldn't do this back in the day you had to be able to actually play it but with the advancement in technology, the same as auto-tune. Now people don't have to be able to hit the notes. They can get the software to do it for them. Now you don't have to be able to play a solo in its entirety. You can just break it down into tiny segments and piece it all together and then pretend to play it at the end. And if you do a video like this, it's trying to make people believe that you're doing it. And I think everyone nowadays is pretty much achieving that. I thought I just had to do a little video. I say a little video, this has probably gone for ages, but this is something that's now possible. And for a lot of people that think, oh, there are so many really talented young guitarists now, it's probably not the case. A lot of them are doing this where, I mean, some people would argue, oh yeah, but you know, even piecing it together is clever. But I think m most, of the audience, especially here on the channel, most of the people <laughs> who are watching this want people to be able to actually play what they're hearing and have the honesty to play something that they can play. And when they can't play something, then leave that alone because they can't play it. And it's not about chasing likes. It's about integrity, artistic integrity. Because if you do this, I think at any point in your career, if you fake how good you are at the guitar or how well you can play it's going to come back to bite you because say for example this particular artist or channel becomes huge there is this video where people will now know that to get to where they've got they've been dishonest and that they haven't been able to do it i think a lot of people would have a problem with that and i mean that's pretty much for me against what being an artist is being a artist of any type, but being a musical artist, you've got to keep your integrity. You've got to just play the way that you play. If people like it, great. If they don't, then it doesn't matter because that is just you as an artist. So I would say, you know, if you are watching a YouTube shorts video or an Instagram video or any other very short video of a guitar solo that looks like this kind of setup, like they're just about to play the solo and it's live, be very suspicious of it because it very rarely is. Even players who are better at pretending than this particular example, they're still not playing the solos. And this is where you get to, I guess, appreciate where the real talent is. Guys like you know, young players, Taj Farrant, who's a fantastic young guitarist who does it all live. And he has videos like this where he's actually playing. And this is the point that I want to focus people's direction in the talent and not the people pretending to have the talent. So uh, that is another thing. And by the way, check out Taj if you do get a chance because he's a genuine talent and he has videos like this where he's actually doing it fully live. Everything that you're seeing is what you're hearing. So yeah, we really have to separate the, you know, the wheat from the chaff <laughs> and make sure that it just doesn't become, I mean, it probably already is, unfortunately, 
on social media, just an oversaturated market of fakery. We want to hear actual talent and, and see actual talent. It tends to be a trend at the moment where it's always a female guitarist. And that seems to be the way that they're working it. They can't play the solos, but they're pretending to and getting, yeah, thousands, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of followers and subscribers when they're not actually doing what they're pretending to do. But, you know, people can't tell because they don't play the guitar. They don't know the ins and outs of the technique. So they're not even focusing on what's being played. They're assuming that it is being played. And that's where, for me, I draw the line and call out the fakery that... If it's not being played, I think people should know that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it has been maybe eye-opening, but you know, enjoyable as well for you guys to learn about the videos a little bit more that are going around. As always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, because this is one of those topics that I think is gonna be controversial and maybe people don't realize the extent to which this is going on across the internet. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below. And you know, for future videos, keep those suggestions and requests coming as well. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock!